Abuse of the painkiller OxyContin reached epidemic levels across the country, and now Ontario's health minister is one of many expressing concern that the problem could resurface. In March, the drugs manufacturer pulled OxyContin from the market and replaced it with OxyNeo, which it said was harder to abuse. Well, now the patent on the old formulation is set to expire, which could put it back on drugstore shelves in weeks. Ontario Health Minister Deb Matthews joins us from downtown, from our downtown studio this morning. Good morning to you, Minister. Thank you for your time. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Well, tell me a little bit about, um, you have called, you've said if this happens, this is going to be a travesty. You've got um, some support of fellow health ministers as well. Tell me what you're, you're hoping you can accomplish. What I'm hoping is that the federal government will refuse uh, the notice of compliance, that they will not allow the generic form of OxyContin to be sold in, in Canada. This is a devastating drug. It's caused enormous harm to, to so many people. It would just be a, a, a tragedy if it were to come back on the streets again. So the request has already gone in, and, and certainly the federal health minister has been asked about this. She's, um, she said in part that the decision to approve a drug in Canada is made by Health Canada scientists, not politicians. I believe that if politicians start picking which drugs get on the market, they will be pressured to authorize drugs that are not proven to be safe or effective. Is it a sticky wicket getting the health minister involved in choosing which drugs can go out there? So what I'm asking her to do is to, to, to instruct Health Canada to look at the issue of safety broadly. They have a responsibility to, to determine whether or not this drug is safe. I'm asking them to interpret that broadly. Research has indicated that the costs of, of allowing it back on the market are five times the savings because it's become uh, a generic. So there's no question that the costs are enormous of allowing it back. I brought this to the health ministers from all the provinces and territories, and I, I said, let's work together. We unanimously agreed to ask the health minister to, at, at a minimum, delay approval until we've got more research. But, uh, and, and 12 out of 13 of us wanted to actually ask for a complete uh, a ban on it. A ban altogether. Yeah. And, and Health Canada would say, or has said, that in fact when, they, um, when a patent expires and generics are ha have, have been developed to go on the market, that they do assess the actual safety and risk and that abuse, drug abuse, is part of the risk that, that Health Canada would assess prior to that decision, having nothing to do with the federal health minister at that point. So I'm encouraged to hear that they would look at the issue of abuse. Uh, this, the clock is ticking on this. I, I first wrote to the minister in, uh, in July. Uh, the health ministers in September put the issue forward as a high priority for us. Uh, I, I'm just very much hoping that they will look at the issue of abuse. You know, I, I, uh, since this issue has become something I've been talking about, I've heard from countless people who've been personally affected, almost always starting with a legitimate prescription. They were in pain, they were prescribed OxyContin, and then the addiction um, uh, took over their lives, uh, causing extraordinary devastation. You know, the, the chiefs of police are with me on this. They don't want to see generic Oxy back on the streets. Uh, pharmacists are reporting a significant reduction in the number of break-ins and hold-ups in their, in their pharmacies. So a lot of people are asking the same thing of Health Canada. Please do not allow generic Oxy back on the streets. The costs are just too high. We also know that a number of drug manufacturers have, have got those generics ready to go. So I guess, Minister, I'm wondering, are you hopeful with the kind of support that you know you have? Are you hopeful considering uh, this, can, this could all happen November 25th? That's exactly right. So we have not heard from Health Canada. I don't know what decision they're going to make. But I think it's really important that Canadians right across this country let Health Canada know, let the minister know, let their MPs know that this is not something they want back on the streets in their communities. We've seen the devastation caused by um, OxyContin. We do not need to repeat this story. Minister Matthews, thank you for coming on the show this Thanks. morning. Thank you.